Okay, YouTube, uh, today I'm going to talk about um, eBay and eBay authentication process and uh, let you know uh, what's, what my experience is with, with this process. Uh, about a, two and a half weeks ago, I bought a, a Omega Speedmaster watch on eBay. The seller said the watch was new. He bought it new, but he never used it. Um, he had it in the box, and he never even set the watch. So I figure, okay, it's brand new, never set, never worn, never used. And uh, it comes with all the, the warranty information card, all the paperwork, everything. So um, last Monday, FedEx dropped the um, the package to me. Um, first, uh, after I made the purchase, the seller had to send it to eBay Authentication um, to make sure that it's a it's a real Omega watch. So I had to wait, uh, you know, almost a week to get it. So last week, when when the um, when the watch arrived, I Immediately, immediately opened the watch, opened the box. <laughs> I didn't open the watch. I opened the box. So, um, so eBay, they have this tag on it that says, if the tag is removed, what it says here. They say, no return if removed. Right now. I will tell you why I removed this later on. So I immediately take the, the, the watch out of the box and um, I wound it a few times and then I set the watch. So, uh, so when I set it, I, I rest it, I put it down and um, for about, you know, I was doing some other work. So I um, left it for like roughly 10 minutes. When I came back, the watch didn't move. It was the time was the same. So the watch has two second hand, right? There is one second hand right here, that little hand right there. Right here is a second hand right there, right? The next one, the next second hand is, is right here. And that is for the stopwatch or the chronograph, right? So when you, when you, uh, so what happened is I noticed that the second ends were not moving. So what I did, I went ahead and I pressed the, the, the phonograph, the chronograph end. And you can see the chronograph second end is moving. And also the, the small second hand is, is moving right here. You can see it's moving. Right, so when I stop this, when I stop, I press the second, the chronograph hand to stop it, it stop. And if you notice, the small hand will also stop. Right, you see the small hand stop now. It stop. It's not moving, right? So with the chronograph, the small hand is supposed to be moving at all times. And when I when I press the reset button for the phono chronograph, look what happened. Okay, now it jumps back to twelve o'clock. But most of the time, it doesn't jump back to twelve. Let's see if I can do that. Stop it. Hmm. I guess this time it jumped back to 12, but usually it does not jump back to 12 o'clock. It just jump half away and stuck. And the second end, the smaller second end still doesn't move. Let's 
Actually, let me try it one more time. Hmm. This time it jumped back to, sec um, to, to the 12 o'clock. But like I say, it never jumped back to 12 o'clock. This is the first time it, it jumped back to 12 o'clock um, two times in, in a row. But anyway, so I immediately called eBay and said, look, um, the watch is not working. And I explained why. And I, I um, contacted the seller also and says the watch is not working. And I explained ex uh, exactly what I did just now. And it, it, the, the, um, the watch not working. And if you notice, the second hand, the smaller second hand, is still not, is still not moving, right? I, I won the watch a few times, and this is a this is a um, automatic watch, so you can also shake it, and you notice that the second hand still doesn't move. I mean, the smaller second hand still does not move. So anyway, I called eBay and I told them what's going on. And um, I made ev every day I call them and it's like, OK, we're going to send you back the money and um, oh, sorry about it and all that. But. Oh, but finally, I was able to talk to someone in the authentication group. And they told me that um, because the watch was listed as final sale, and no return, I cannot return the watch. The only option is to send the watch out to, uh, to a repair to make sure uh, that it can be repaired and um, eBay will pay for it. Well, that wasn't acceptable to me because I'm buying a new watch. It's, I'm not supposed to send it out anywhere. So the seller did tell me, when I contacted the seller, the seller says, well, the watch is under warranty, so you should be able to get it repaired. So I'm like, wait a while, this don't make no sense. Because the thing that really got me was this, um, eBay authenticators look at the watch and they said that the watch was, was good. It's, an, it's a genuine Omega watch. And they still didn't catch that the watch was not working. So I, I just I just can't believe it because I just took it out of the box last Monday and just within within I'd say 15 minutes I was on the phone to eBay telling them that the watch not working. So anyway, um, I finally uh, decided to. Um, since I wasn't getting anywhere with eBay, um, I said, let me let me look into it, um, get in touch with Omega and see. So I went onto Omega site and I um, fill out an account and um, I send my 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 uh, my information in and they said, tell me what to do. I have to send the um, copy of the the certificates and also my receipt, my receipt um, that I got when I bought the watch and take pictures of the watch, take the f a picture of the front, the back and the sides of the watch. Now that's why I said, um, I that's why I removed this tag because I could not take picture of the watch, of the back without, with this tag in place. So that's why I removed it, see? So about a, a day after that, Omega contacted me and um, uh, sent me the information and, and where to send the watch. So they sent me all these paperwork here. Send me a US, UPS um, shipping label and all this stuff. All this stuff that I'm supposed to send in with the watch so my question is if eBay look at this watch it's supposed to be a brand new watch oh one other thing the authentication people they did um, when they when they contacted me the first time they did say that there were scratches on the watch 
and they tell me that there was a scratch at this point here and here on the watch. And they send me pictures, pictures of it. So I, I said, um, you know, I thought about it and before I, I made the purchase and I said, well, if two scratches, you know, might be the guy take it out of the box and scratch because I have um, other watches and, and it doesn't take anything, you know, as you, as you touch the watch, it's scratch. So I, w I thought I could live with that, those two scratches. So I said, okay, let me, um, I'll still go with the purchase. So eBay caught those two scratches, but they did not catch the fact that the watch was not working properly. It's hard to believe. I just can't. I just can't imagine how, how that could happen. So you, you figure. Um, I don't know exactly what the test, what eBay does test. They did talk about. They check for the movement and check for if there are you know um, some marks on it and you know. I don't know exactly what else they look for, but if you're gonna authenticate the thing, you got to make sure it work. So um, probably the person looking at it just like I did here with the with the chronograph hand, and he see that it's worth running, and that was it for them, right? They didn't stop it and make sure that the thing actually keep time. They did not do that, and. Um, so now um, I'm getting ready to send this out to um, to Omega. So I'm very disappointed with, with eBay Authenticator. They should have caught that. Because guess what? The watch came in a box. The box is right here. And the box is like brand new. Right? There is nothing wrong with the box. There is no, no dents no rip nothing you know to say well then um the box get crushed and as a result the watch was damaged no no the box was fine and it was packed real nice with bubble wrap and all that and plus it had the original box it had the original box so So eBay messed up on this one, I think. I so um, two things, two lessons learned from this thing. Um, if you're buying a watch and you see that the the um, the seller talk about final sale, no refund, and it it goes through the authentication process. Think twice before you buy it, because if if the watch hadn't gone through the, if it was a regular purchase and not gone through the authentication pro process, I would have uh, received my money already. But they told me that because it goes through the authentication process, that third party did did look at the watch and and uh, give it a pass, right? But this one was messed up. They really got me on this one. So, um, I will have to hear what um, what Omega says. If it's it's on it's on the warranty, I have all the warranty here. So, hopefully, um, um, Omega just uh, fix this watch and send it back. And if if I have to pay anything to fix it, um, eBay assured me that they they will pay. Um, whatever it costs to fix the watch. So that's my take. Um, oh, this is the eBay authentication um, certificates that came with the thing. See that? Authentication guarantee, you know. But how could they authenticate a watch that's not working? It don't make no sense. Seems like this authentication process um, doesn't work 100%. I'm not gonna say it's bad. I'm not. I'm just telling you my opinion and and give you my and t share my experience with you. So that's about it for now. I'm I'm on my way to the UPS um, store to drop this watch off. 
All right, eBay. I mean, all right, YouTube. See you later. Bye.